Alright, testing, testing, one, two, three. What's going on, fellow rogues? It's Mass Mayor here, and welcome in for episode seven for Sons of the Forest. Now, um, to kind of like go ahead and, you know, get this out of the way real quick, guys. Um, compared to where we left off on the previous stream, we're going to be doing something a little bit different to start this one off. The plan is that I still want to, like, try to work on my house some, uh, on my base some. I think I did, like, specify that in the previous stream. I can't remember. Um, but one of the main things I kind of, like, wanted to do with this stream is, like, maybe try to focus on, like, doing that for a bit. But, um,. There is something we gotta like take care of first. I'm gonna go ahead and like jump on into the game in just a second so you guys can hopefully hear me a little bit better considering this music is a little loud at my end. But yeah, um, I, you know, basically what we left off on the previous stream, I went back to the base and I think I might or may or may not have like specified that on the next stream I wanted to like try to like, you know, go either, I can't remember if I actually said I was gonna like try to go on to the residential bunker or to the VIP bunker or if I was just gonna like hang back and try to work on the house a little bit. Cause the key thing is that with the base, um, like, we haven't really, like, worked on it the past several streams, and I kind of feel bad about that. And I don't know how much more of this game there is, but I kind of, like, you know, definitely do want to try to get the base built. Because, you know, because because you know for one thing, if it is that we're by chance, like, you know, somewhat close to the end of the game, at the very least, if, like, the devs do put out, like, more content later, I'll have, like, a little base I can utilize for that. And plus, I think it would, it would be pretty nice if, if, by chance, they do add a feature where you can, like, convert a single-player game into a multiplayer one. That at least, like, you know, give me and be if I play with Amber, Wolf 17, you know, Septus, Matt, Mickey DV43, or whoever, we have, like, a little base right there that we can work with until we can get, like, you know, more stuff, you know, taken care of, or at least have that base to build off of, you know, do future things with. So I definitely do want to at least get, like, a roof on this place, but I do want to try to work on that during the stream. But, like I said, there is something we need to do first beforehand, um, which you guys will see when we get loaded in here. Um, but yeah, during the stream, I'm gonna have my heart rate monitor on. Uh, we're gonna be doing the Bean Boozle Beans if I get spooked. And also, to start things off, I got a couple of um, unboxings gonna be doing, like, right here, like, you know, right over there as well. But first, let's go ahead and get loaded in. Alright, so yeah, as you guys probably, like, you know, just kind of saw right there, um... <coughs> like, you know, we're not at the base now. I actually went back to one of the caves. And the reason for this is because, um... It's kind of really just really kind of because uh, I'm using the loading screen right here as a chance to talk as well. It's kind of like you know been a bit of a frustration in that, as far as the artifact pieces are concerned, we've only got five out of seven of them, and I'm having a feeling that like I'm kind of like you know did like a little bit of like looking into something off stream, 
And I think I kind of like might know where one of the artifact pieces is that we've actually missed. So the reason I say this is because um, I can remember like very well like the other like caves I got the artifact pieces from. I know that we got one from the uh, pickaxe cave. We got one from the um, I, it was I believe it was the rebreather cave. Um, pretty sure it was. Cause I think it was the cave that had the shark in it or whatever. And um, we kind of like I think like you know accidentally ended up showing, going back into that cave like in the previous stream if it's the one I'm thinking it was. But either way, you know, it was like the one that had like the very big like you know underground area, like you know with all like you know the metal um, sidings and like floor around. Basically, I had to fight that one thing with all the arms, not like the fingers thing, but the other one. It was kind of like like the walking puke pile looking thing. If that makes any sense. Either way, it was one of the ones I drowned. I kind of like walked back over to the little you know spot and tricked in, jumped in the water, kept on trying to pounce on me. Pretty sure if you guys go back and watch the previous stream, you know what I'm talking about because it's kind of hard to really describe it. But I know that we found like one. See now the. Water right here is not really that much better. Let's see if I can kind of go outside for a second. And we'll come back in. Because that running water is not really helping that much either. Might still be more out here, but... Okay, that's a little bit better. A little bit better ambient sound. Get... Already started the damn stream, and we already got spooked by freaking bats. That's great. So, that's a scare. That was cheap as hell. And I, but I, I commit, I gotta eat the bean. I'll turn this. I guess I, I don't know. I don't really want to work on like I'm not gonna bother turning on the uh, heart rate monitor just yet because we're not actually in spooky territory. Man, it's no guarantee I'm actually gonna get spooked because I mean I know this cave. I do know they probably like chances are they probably did like to bring the enemies back. But um, you know we already did it before. This is gonna be um, looks like this is gonna be either um, dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie. Dead fish. Way to start this off, huh? <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Also, I forgot to tell you guys that we're going to be doing Dragon's Dogma 2 later. Um, trying to, like, you know, hide the fact that it's, uh, this atrocious taste is in my mouth. But yeah, what I was trying to say is that um, previously, um, I, you know, thought about the fact that, you know, we found, like, all these different artifacts. But something was telling me that we we're missing one, like, in one of the caves we already visited. I don't know how many more caves there might be in this game. I know we've explored, like, a pretty good bit of the island. But, um... Something was telling me there might have been a chance we might have missed one. So I've been kind of using like the Sons of the Forest wiki just a little bit. What I do is I will kind of like type in, um, you know, type in like, like, you know, basically like a particular item I found and then like try to retrace like, you know, back to a cave that we went to, make sure I got everything out of there. And so far, I think like with like, some very few exceptions for like a couple of items I've missed, we've gotten like, you know, most of the major stuff out of the caves. But it turns out, um, I don't recall getting one from this cave, which is the uh, rope gun cave. So I remember, you know, obviously getting one out of the Ancient Armor Cave because you basically get that one. Um, you get, like, that artifact, like, right before you get the Ancient Armor. Um, it's in the spaceship thing. And I remember getting one out of the uh, Pickaxe Cave. I got one out. We got the one out of the Rebreather Cave. And also that little spot in that spot with, like, the two little, like, huts. Um, I remember, like, you know, getting one from there, too. And another cave nearby from that. So, you know, the one, like, you go down there and there's all that the golden skeletons. So I pretty much, you know, kind of, like, you know, thought back and be like, wait, all right, I definitely got, like, you know, artifact from each of these caves. But I don't. But I didn't recall getting one from the um, rope gun cave. So I looked it up without actually trying to figure out where it was, and it did say that there is one in the rope gun cave. And I went back and watched like the stream where we went through the rope gun cave for the first time, and got the rope gun, got out, and I never got an artifact there. So um, as it stands, trying to get this bean out of my mouth. So if the, if the wiki's right, I know they had to change some stuff up because like you know with the 1.0 update, like I think there was like a lot of stuff that got changed around in regards to locations. I want to check, like, the Rope Gun Cave and see if there is an artifact in there. Um, if it comes down to it that there isn't, um, that's going to mean we're going to have to, like, go back. Or at the very least, I may have actually already somehow grabbed it, even though I watched stream and I did see that I did get it or didn't get it. Um, if there isn't one there, what that's going to pretty much mean is we're going to have to go through these other caves and try to, like, do a process of elimination and make sure that it wasn't a matter of me, like, you know, during, like, one of the times I got killed. Then when I was going back off stream, trying to like, you know, get back to where I was, like regain my progress, that I forgot to go to one of these caves and get like the particular um, artifact piece. But I'm, I'm, everything's pointing that it should be in the rope gun cave. So hopefully, you know, best case scenario, we'll get the artifact out of here. It shouldn't take us too long to find the area for it if we're lucky. And then we can head on back to the base and maybe work on that a little bit. And then I'll work on the VIP bunker like in the next stream. Or, you know, even better scenarios, if I by chance I do get the base somewhat built, and then we decide and then we can get a chance to go on and check out the bunker, the bunker anyway. But more than likely, the stream is going to be mostly us just trying to build on the base a little bit. So, it's kind of run, run you guys, like, you know, basically what we're going to be doing this time. But for now, let's go ahead and actually get this stuff uh, unboxed. I got, like, two pop, two figures here. Uh, two more pop figures. 
And this one right here, um, yeah. So I'm hoping these are gonna be intact because one of them is um, one that I've been putting off getting for a bit. And the other one is a little interesting story behind it revolving around like my recent vacation. I mean, not like an exciting story, but you know, it was a little bit of an adventure. To start this off, let's hope this is in good condition because this was like it was the one that had like a bit of a price on it. Um, so this one was one I was trying to find at Target. Can never really find it. See what's in good condition, and it definitely looks like it is. Um, of course, it's in a box or whatever, and I definitely love, like the quality of it. Uh, like in person, looks like just amazing. Um, so over, you know, so obviously I've shown off where I got like you know Metal Sonic figure, like an Amy figure, and like a Super Sonic figure. You know, for like my Sonic the Hedgehog collection. I've also got. Um, Sonic holding Chaos Emerald. I've got like, you know, classic Sonic doing like the figure eight run. Um, and I've got Shadow and Silver. But I still need to get a Tails figure. Obviously, Tails is a given and one that you need to get like if you're going to Sonic, doing a Sonic collection. But at the very least, I've got like, you know, probably like my second favorite Sonic character, which is Knuckles. So yeah, I definitely love how this figure looks. Cause you know, they had like um Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles figures, I think, like years back. But obviously this is back when Pop figures first came on the scene. And they look atrocious. If you look them up, they really do not look anything like, you know, what we got right here. That was back when, like, all the pops had, like, the standard, like, you know, arms down to the side, you know, thing. But even this, like, they look really weird. You look them up, I mean, they're, like, worth, like, quite a bit. But they didn't really look anything like Sonic or any of them. And what's going on with this right here? I hope my stream did not just drop. Because my, all my information right there went away on OBS. Let me check something real quick. I got a little worried there. I like my stuff on like OBS. I like, disappeared for a second. Okay. Um. But yeah. Um. I was actually pulling up my phone, like to actually check and make sure it was still going and everything. But yeah, if you look at the figures, they they look atrocious. But um. But these obviously are like much more affordable compared to the original, you know, pop, you know, Sonic figures and everything. So Knuckles is one that's been like you know on my you know uh, radar for a while, and it's also a flock figure. This is from a uh, 2022 Target Con. So it, it was like a not really a major price. It was like only like, I think like probably about maybe twenty five to thirty bucks I paid for this. But still, you know, this is one that was definitely on my you know to, to get list. I'm glad I finally got it. And it's absolutely it's in pristine condition, which is definitely a plus. Again, we gotta pay respects to Nami for those who get the joke on that. For those who don't know, I got like a one piece figure not long ago from uh, Amazon, and it didn't come in in great condition at all. Let's hope that we got a two for two here, because this one right here, um, it actually came from a different site. So I'm figuring that, you know, since I got this from the actual, like, you know, proper seller on the site, it'll be in good condition as well. If not, I'm going to be frustrated. So a little adventure here, like a little, um, you know, story here. When I was recently, you know, up in North Carolina, you know, visiting Rocket Nachos and uh, Amber Wolf 17, um, I realized they had 7-Elevens up there. So, you know, where I live, there's no 7-Elevens nearby at all. And I really wanted to, you know, try to find, you know, for, there was two things I wanted. I wanted to, like, try a Slurpee for the first time. I've never had a Slurpee, like, you know, in my entire life, which Slurpee, you know, basically is just, like, you know, just, it just tastes just, like, icy to me and everything. It's just, like, a different uh, company and all that. But still, it's, like, kind of, like, a thing I've been wanting to do for quite a while. So I wanted a Slurpee, and I finally got my Slurpee. But also, another thing I was wanting to do up there is I was wanting to try to find me, like, a Slurpee Pop figure, because there's several of them. We went to two different 7-Elevens. They didn't have any. And then, like, we went to um, th this mall up there um, where they had, like, you know, like, one shop that specialized entirely in pop figures. They didn't have any. And there's another shop there that had, like, you know, some, you know, pop figures, manga, you know, old, you know, retro games and everything. And they didn't have any. The guy said that he sold, like, a red one, like, just the past week. So, yeah. So, at the very least, um, and they got, and just looking at it, there's, like, a little slight scuff, like, on the bottom. Not really any kind of, like, you know, issue with it. It's like it's very noticeable like right there and everything but i'm not really concerned with that otherwise the box is in good condition so they only had like two of these on the 7-eleven site i definitely would get the other one as well but i kind of like definitely want this to look cooler um but yeah i got like this is a slurpee figure and this is a black light uh, figure so yeah really happy about this i finally got me a got me this slurpee pop you know because amber 17 and rocket nachos can vouch for just how dedicated uh, how dead set i was on getting a slurpee pop figure and I've got one now. This goes, like, with, like, my other little ad figures. I've got, like, you know, one for, like, uh, it's just, like, you know, a bowl of, like, hot ramen. Um, one for, like, you know, soy sauce and everything. And I've got um, a White Castle one, a Blockbuster Video one. So we got this one to add on to it as well. So, yeah. Um, call that a win. You know, two for two, like, you know, and having, like, you know, some uh, pop figures that came in pretty good condition and everything. Just wish that Amazon would, like, stay on point, you know, with, like, all the uh, pop figures I ordered from them. And the sellers actually sell them in good condition. So anyways, um, 
Yeah, we just it just if only we would have been able to find like the Slurpee one. But I would like to get more of them. Because, you know, like, uh, there's, like, several, like, Slurpee figures that have, like, a glitter effect to them or whatever. They're, like, about, like, 20, 30 to $40. dollars there's one more Black Light Slurpee. That I only paid $15 for. But the other one is, like, $15 as well on uh, the 7-Eleven on, uh, uh, site. So, I'm going to get that one, too. But, anyways, guys, um, all that's out of the way now. Hold on. What's going on with my stream here? I was checking something there. It seems like everything is just lagging at this end. Um... All right, but either way, everything should be fine now. I mean, all that's good now. Just wanted to do that. Yeah, we're basically like we're sitting in an IHOP parking lot trying to pull up, you know, 7-Elevens to check and everything. But at least now I finally got it. Okay, so anyways, um, with all that said, now it's time to actually get down to the business here. I should have done the unboxing when I had like the full screen so you guys got to see them better, but, you know. All right, so like I said, what we what I'm wanting to do here now the good news with this is that I'm pretty sure without a shot like the thing is I should be able to handle most of what I was dealing with before because I know like the enemies here I recall like not really being that bad compared to like you know stuff we face later. Get this box out of the way. I might have to just the volume just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I finally got the dang pop figure, so you, you don't have to worry about me complaining, like, you know, you know, basically, you know, just going on and on about it anymore. All right, so before we do anything else, I'm going to do some prep here. I don't have any explosives. Okay, so never mind. I'm going to have to improv this. The only thing I hate is that this is just one of those days it seems like OBS is just trying to, um... Kind of lag a little bit. I hate how it like seems like sometimes it wants to lag with this game. All right, so we do know that there was like several of these uh, these blind uh, mutants down here. But I've got like you know better arsenal than what I had before, so they shouldn't be too much of an issue for me to deal with. There's one right there. Another right there. I know, like, last time I came through here, they all tried to mob me. Screw it. One down. Okay, go and get this one before I can do anything. How the tides have changed. All right. It's kind of like just look at each avenue here. I know we've been we went down this way before. Can't help like can't hurt to go ahead and pick up what we can here. I just want like I'm gonna like you know check every area as thoroughly as possible to make sure we kind of like you know got everything covered. I'm just curious, can we like mix the um medicine with anything? I don't recall if I ever actually try. Okay, you can't. Nothing else. At least we got, like, you know, plenty of resources we're finding down right here. So it's also a good start. And if I had, already didn't have, like, a lot of, you know, sulfite, uh, sulfite or whatever, I can get some more right there, so. All right, hold on a second. Uh, did we ever go down here before? I can't remember. All right, hold on. Before we continue, let me kind of like just like just think about things here. I know we went down this way. I'm pretty sure. Actually, we can't go down that way because there's nothing there. Um, so we definitely went that way. I know we went down to over to the left right here. We've been all over here. That's the pamphlet thing. I know we've been over there. So I don't recall ever jumping off of like. Well, we're going to test it out anyway. Push on the shove. I can always just, like, restart if I can't get back up. I'm just hoping they can be sharks down here. Because, you know, we've already seen, like, one cave shark. But... Or we can just climb down. That works, too. Okay. 
Okay, looks like there's like someone over there, a dead body. Don't know if I'm gonna get anything from it. Okay, I'm just trying to like see if there's a way we can climb back up. I mean, like I said, I got my save, so like if need, I'll just reload. Hold up, what's this? Yeah, so far, nothing really of note down here. Okay, if that's the, I think that's the cave we were just in, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, so we got like another little opening right here we can go check out. All right, please, no sharks. I swear, there better not be any sharks in here. I say this just because that one cave, like the one cave where we did find a cave shark, but again, I keep telling myself that's when we were like, you know, down near the um, ocean. But there is like a bit, I think there's been like at least two caves that have done me out in the ocean. Like after we got out of them, when I swam, when I swam out, so. Okay, that's kind of concerning. I don't think Wood's supposed to do that. Quit it. The hell was that about? Shivering timbers. Okay, so. Wait a minute. Holy shit, it actually is here. Okay, um, we got the artifact. Okay, so that's great. Means a lot less searching we gotta do, alright? So we got the, this artifact piece. It was like right here near the beginning of the cave. So I'm guessing I never came down here to it before because I didn't have the rebreather. Alright. So at least this means that we ain't got to worry about like a whole lot of traveling around now. We don't have to worry about like, you know, traveling like other caves, trying to find like, you know, another artifact piece or just trying to find the piece. And we also don't have to like, you know, really do a whole lot in regards to getting back out of here. We just got to climb back up the ropes and leave and that's it. So yeah, I mean, so we only got one more to go now. I don't know where it is, but I'm not worried about it just yet because I'm having a feeling it could possibly be, you know, like a cave we haven't explored. We still need to check out the VIP bunker. So we'll just wait and see. I mean, I just want to like, you know, get this one out of the way. So that's like six out of seven artifact pieces found. All right, and there's a uh, rope up there. So let's climb out. Thankfully, we ain't got to worry about like fighting too, too much. I mean, like, we got to save um, resources, save ammunition. Okay, but still, I mean, they wouldn't have anything else show up and try to attack us. Let's go and get out of here before anything does show up. I mean, I don't even know exactly what is going to come from the artifact, but at least we got, like, almost everything we need to assemble it. Like I said, it's not really important at the moment. I'm heading back to the base. It's time we actually try to get something to build here. Like, I know that my base in the end is going to be, like, really simple. I mean, I'm just going to, but... Okay. Definitely need to get back ASAP because, unfortunately... It's like it's starting to get dark out here. We definitely do not want to be out here after dark. Ah, oh, shit. You boys really don't want none. I said back off, buddy. Anyone else want to fuck around and find out? Oh, man, I player. I, I play, how you doing?
Oh, that's nice. All right, let's see. Let's gotta like get back to where we were now. All right, yeah. So it's gonna be this. All right, that's where our base is. Just trying to align myself properly on the map. Do I have any more, um... Just in case. Don't think I'm gonna need it. King Oyster. I'm hanging in there. Hope you're doing okay. Get back in my base, I'll be good. Because they, you know... Cause I do definitely need to build, like, some kind of little bridge over to it so that Kelvin can come over and can uh, help me, like, by... help get stuff over to me. Shit. I'm warning you, buddy, you don't want... I guess we are doing this. <laughs> Bringing me back to your base is one of the worst things you could have done. <sighs> Shouldn't have done it. Should not have done it. Get my stuff. Come on. Wow. Okay, then. I just got the artifact and everything. Now I gotta go back and get it again because that cheap shit. They camp right there when I got it. All right, so you want to spawn camp me, huh? You see, I was gonna be nice about this. I was just gonna go and just go back in my base and everything. So now, unfortunately, for you guys, it's gonna be shoot on sight. <sighs> okay. All right. Someone's got a target on their back. Now they're not gonna have a back at all after I blast it off. See, I just don't like the fact that, you know, now I got to go back down here and get all this again because it's some cheap crap like that. And I know exactly which one I'm going after. One of those berserker types that wants to run at people. That just really frustrates me just because, you know, I'm right here trying to do this. And then, like, you know, try, just trying to get back to the base and something always has the compliment. Ah, uh, I just, this frustrates me. It's always like stupid crap like this. Like things were going well, you know, it's like, okay, you can get Here in there. Comes a new challenger. Appreciate the follow eye. Appreciate you, man. All right. It's not a good day to be a cannibal. It is not a good day at all. So that's not a good day to be these guys. Oh, don't get up. Where you at? I'll take you out before you can get... Uh-huh, that's what I thought. Look, I'm having a very bad day. So you're just gonna run, huh? I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna like do all this. Wow. Okay, game, that's quite enough of that.
Gotta love when you know it. That it seems like this has happened most at times before. What do you mean I'm crazy? Okay, we're gonna try that again. Like I tried to shoot at it or whatever, and it seemed like it just missed. I hate when that happens. Like you're trying to like you know shoot at him, and it seems like at times like you know it doesn't attack like it's supposed to. But other times I've like shot like I mean like it should have missed and it hit them. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Didn't miss that time. Okay. In case you know you mutants don't understand what's going on here, some of your boys topside, you know, did something very stupid a bit ago, and I'm not gonna let anything stop me from going up here and make sure they regret what they did. See, I got something down here I'm gonna be, you know, claiming again. And I'm going bet right back up there. You know, just watch. You'll see. There's like some more. Yeah, I can look at this. All right. Should have been over this way. I, mean, I just hate them having to do all this again, but it's not gonna happen again, though. This I'm gonna make sure I save before I um take down my uh, my tent. to do this again rope gun but yeah It's not a good day to be a cannibal. Not a good day at all. In a perfect world, I mean, I could just like just go back to my camp, not have to worry about any of this. But nope. The villagers have to be idiots. I mean, it's not like a village idiot. It's not a village missing its idiot. They're all idiots. The reason I say that, they say they're idiots, is because they attack me. No, I haven't. This is my uh, first time playing through it.
You boys had your fun. Now it's my turn. Now, I'm just curious as to where your base is. I mean, y'all so, so kind of take me there before, but, you know, I'd like to find it myself. I mean, such a nice little establishment. You know, I'd, it'd be such a shame if I didn't seek it out. I didn't forget to turn on my uh, pulse oid thing earlier. Turn on the heart rate monitor. Now I'm probably gonna need it for this. Then they should be scared. Uh, they should be afraid of me. Uh, I want to continue. And also, you know, whatever, whether it is actually, you know, completed or whatever, you know, I'd rather, you know, find it myself. I'm mainly just going to just, like, work on my base for a little bit. While I'm making a little detour, you know, just... Oh, look who it is. You guys should know. It's not a good day to be you. Yeah, cry about it. Where's the rest of your friends? It's okay. It's alright, it's just we've had people come through and, um, and, no, it's not a problem. It's just we've had people that definitely come through. Hold that thought. That was a warning shot. Here we go, huh? Really? Oh, so you got your big... <sighs> okay. We're playing this kind of game, huh? I'm gonna kill your woman. <laughs> so you gonna do something about that, buddy? I don't think you are. Pop goes the weasel. Where is he? I want all you to know you're all about to have a very bad time. See, I don't appreciate being killed. You know, I'm just going on my own business. So why don't you step the fuck off? In case you haven't noticed, you guys have really pissed me off. Oh, yeah, you. I'm going to say you're one of them. See, it was one that looked like you, I think, actually killed me before, and well, I'm just not too pleased with that. <laughs> Shut up. So, any, any of you left? Nice mask. So I guess you're important, huh? Let him know that in the afterlife. Here, bon voyage. Sorry, Virginia, we're good. They, on the other hand, not so much. So anyone else want to try keeping me from going back to my base? I 
mean, please don't be shy. I mean, y'all were like so keen on trying to jump me from all, all sides. I'm just playing, I think, on the standard difficulty. I can't remember. No, you ain't going nowhere. Don't get up. Uh, yeah, I should not have, you know, shouldn't have found out. You did all the, yeah. Oh, no, where you going? No, you wanted this. Come on, ugly, let's go. I'm going back to my base. It's in y'all's best interest that, you know, you get a restraining order carried out on me and don't come near my base. Sorry for the little bit of raging there, rogues, but those guys had it. Oh, it's adorable. You're over there hiding with your little camouflage and everything. Then you get to jump on someone hanging out in the trees. And hang on the rock, too. Get off the rock. Nice armor. Get better armor. And just think, you know, all because one of your friends wanted to try to headbutt me earlier, knock me down, and then spawn came and went, uh, spawn at your base. Keep this in mind. Is it in y'all's best interest that y'all play nice from now on, or I will be visiting your base? I have a feeling I know where it is. I'm thinking they might have took me up to the one up there, like near. I mean, I don't know if it was that one or not, but either way. I'm going home. Or what home I got currently. Once I, you know, actually get like a roof on the place or whatever, it'll feel more like home, but. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I've been at this for about seven years now. I've been, I was on uh, Beam, then Mixer, then Twitch, and everything. So that's, it, I've had like a lot of time to practice and try to get things set up and everything. Definitely didn't happen overnight. Are we home now? This still ain't it. Oh yeah, still got a ways to go. We're almost there though. Okay, we're like right there on the uh trying to like get uh, like get around them because I can't see that well at night. Good news is we're almost there. Just gotta make it. Uh, yeah, it's one of the maintenance bunkers, but it's not where I'm going. Crap, we, we end up all the way down here. Okay, we're just gonna go straight from my house. I was trying to like a. First off, let me um 
Get my stamina back up. Yeah, but I've already explored the maintenance bunker. I'm just, you know... That's not it. I remember now, that's that temporary base I said before where like when I was having problems getting into the maintenance markers, they kept jumping me, so I put a base right there to as a save point. This is where we need to go. Oh, would you look at that? They got like a, a Siamese mutant. Oh, they're having their own problems over there. Oh, this is hilarious. You guys always want to jump someone, but now you're getting jumped. That is hilarious. And I totally ain't helping you. Reap what you sow, boys. That's you give a jump at me. And that sounds like a you problem. But I definitely need to watch it, though, because, I mean, the mutants get, uh, catch my scent. They're coming after me. But thankfully, I'm already down here. I see the um, base right there. Again, what's left of it, what we got started so far. <sighs> okay, got my little raft right here. I mean, it ain't much to it, but at least it's safe. But I'm gonna start trying to actually build on this now to what I, to what degree I can. I mean, I still definitely gotta get like the hang of the crafting mechanics and or like the building mechanics in this. But the plan is, I just want to make like a little small bridge. Well, I pro I'm going to probably like, save again when, when we get to daytime. I want to make like one little small bridge. Ouch. Sounds bright. Um, so that Kelvin can get over here. Yeah, the only problem would be like when winter hits. But otherwise, the only ones that really usually come around here too, I like a lot, are Clyde and them. But yeah, I mean, there's like a few other lake, little lake spots I wanted to use, but I didn't, um, and I should, I definitely kind of wanted to use, but I found out about them later. All right, so the plan for this, like I said, is that we want to make like a little, some kind of little bridge for, um, Kelvin to bring, you know, logs over, which wherever the hell he is. Clyde, if you don't shut your ass up. I think that was Clyde. I still think, like, one of the highlights of the stream so far is, like, you know, two big red guys just, like, just in their heads just, like, pop off like a rock'em sock'em robot. Yeah, I mean... I want to at least, like, try to have something, like, when wintertime comes around. I don't know how it'll work when... If you actually can put, like... The plan would be that I would probably, like, want to have, like, you know, like, some extra boards, like, out here that I could put, like, you know, some traps around. So that way, at the very least, that they could go across the ice, but they're still not going to get to any, like, attack the house too quickly. Um, so yeah, it's definitely gonna take some time. I mean, it's push kind of shove. I mean, I think that Cla Clyde, Kelvin might actually, I might not need to make a bridge right just yet. He might be able to probably, you know, maybe zip line, him, uh, zip line the logs over to me. First of all, I need to eat. Yeah, like I said, I already knew that. But all right. All right. So let's, let's see if he's nearby. It looks to me like he might be off doing his own thing. It shows he's near. Or, he, or he's coming over this way. The main concern I'm going to have is if we have, like, some of those other mutants show up. So that's what I'm concerned about. I mean, I fear I couldn't cut it down with the uh, katana. All right, he's, cl he's, cl he's slowly getting over here. Hold on, hold on a second. Is that a normal thing now? I mean, I've never cut down a tree that fast. 
That was quick as hell that time. Shit. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. Let him space out a little bit. I know, I know. That's right, I'm using it. Uh, you're going to help me get logs. And that, that might have been one that we might start on earlier. And we just never got around to finish, you know, finishing cutting it. I said, I know we're not going to probably finish the house today. Hey, come here, Kelvin. Not that. I still gotta get the hang of like using this stupid memo pad thing. Oh, he's already oh, taking a break. Or he's watching his face. Yeah, I know. I mean, I've had to save him from a few. I say I'm not, you know, I'm not new to this. And lettuce might be a good start, at the very least. Like otherwise, they might end up falling. I like starting to fall out of there, so. Okay. Shut up, Clyde. Yeah, this is definitely gonna take some time. Whoa. I definitely gotta watch what I... So I'm probably gonna, like, leave a door, um... I don't know. We'll, f we'll figure out whether we're gonna put the door. Okay, let's see what we got here. Because, I mean, like I said, I know it's gonna take some time to get this built. We're not gonna, like, get this finished today. I don't think, but... And that was Kelvin again. I know he's not. I, thought I heard him swimming. I was like, wait, what? But I, I, I mean, I was about to say, last I checked, he can't swim. Well, there he is.
He's probably trying to figure out how to get him over to me. I don't know, like, how high I want this to, like, be stacked. I want to at least, like, be, like, a couple, like, you know, maybe a couple logs above my, that side, the height of my head. If sh that mutant is not, if that Campbell did not shut up. I mean, it'd be nice if he could. At least he, that means he can, like, you know, do my tat. He can get away from, like, the... Uh, get away from stuff by just by jumping in the water. I'm gonna push this on over. I was trying to rotate is the issue. I said, at least the plus of things that we don't really see like too many like that. I mean, er, since I actually, you know, got things, started getting things built over here. I haven't really seen like, you know, the other, like the tribe cannibals coming around too much, thankfully. And then like after all the time they tried to jump me and I, you know, fought back against them. Maybe they got the message. And plus, I mean, I don't think like, you know, they probably want to mess around too much after like how much I whooped their asses a little while ago. I can just imagine, like, you know. Like, just imagine. I mean, I can just imagine. Um, hold on a second. Uh, hold on. Hold that thought. Who do you think you are? Where is it? Where's my. Now, I know I got it. I thought I said there was a restraining order being carried out. Just you wait. Back off, Chief. My territory. <laughs> That's a warning shot. That one wasn't. Heh. <laughs> Got your ass. <laughs> go ahead. Anyone else want to go investigate one of the bodies and see what happens? That's called bait, bitch. Now stay away from my house. <laughs> Seriously, after that one killed me earlier or whatever, I mean, they might as well just go and just call me the John Wick of the forest. Okay, now, Clyde, now, I mean, I basically named all, like, the Dirty Campbells Clyde at this point. I don't know how many of them died. I was like, okay, all right, Clyde. But yeah, it's like, I can just imagine, like, you know, that one berserker guy. Came back or whatever, like talking about how he killed like me or whatever, and there's like, and they basically, you know, you just you can hear like in Cannibal Talk, you know, they're basically giving like the John Wick style speech, and they're talking about like how they heard legends about like you know me stabbing someone with a pencil or or, or a twig or something. So they didn't kill my dog; they killed me, and I wasn't happy about it. I'm trying to find that one bot. All right, let's see. All right, Trash Panda, I have no quarrel with you. Trying to find the one I shot earlier. Ah. Clyde? You better be lucky I like you. Better watch you throwing rocks at, buddy. Because my rocks travel a lot faster. Don't be sassy with me like that, Kelvin. What's your problem? Hey, Kelvin, we're going to talk about that attitude, young man.
like the sass when he threw that log down. Oh, okay, this guy right here. I'll give that a 10. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get. Why is my thing not working like it's supposed to? All right, there it goes. Like he turned around, like, are you proud of me? Blam. Like, like he turned around, like he was trying to get my approval for like him doing like a jump out of a tree. It's like, come here. There, go try to find something to be proud of you somewhere else. Getting the trash out of my, out of my yard. All right. Yeah, but there are like theories that basically... I mean, they need to stay out of my yard. I'm had it with this. Or I'm just like right here trying to build my house or whatever. And they're coming around like... I got your cup of sugar right here. I'm just trying to build my house. I think Kelvin's just like at this point just dropping everything off like just at random places. Get your naked ass out of here, Clyde. Trying to keep an eye out for more of them, because... I think they probably don't... It's like, I think they keep on trying to send, like, a search party for the search party for the search party. Because every time, like, you know, one of them sh comes up or whatever, I can just imagine him, like... He was, like, the search party sent out for the last one that went missing. I mean, they're just showing up and like, the thing about it is that's the funny thing about it. It's like Clyde and them are basically like my pets. Because, you know, they're my they're my garbage disposal. Like I basically, you know, whenever I kill like a can't, like one of the villagers, they basically just like, you know, just make make a uh, lunch out of them. So that's really like why, why all the Clydes right here are hanging around where they know I'm going to feed them. See, now, I'm not going to judge. I didn't do it. Okay, you know what? See, that's what you get for, like, making an ass out of yourself. A tree fell on one of you the other day or whatever. That's exactly what you get. What'd you expect to happen? You're already out here showing your ass and... Not my fault you tripped and... <laughs> he gonna trip, bust his ass, throw a rock at me like he's blaming me, and then he's gonna fall in the water. That is exactly what you get, Clyde. I mean, at least he didn't belly flop like, like the last one. I had like one of those big red guys like try to jump, try to like, you know, sit on me or try to like, you know, belly flop on me. And, and like I moved out of the way and he fell in the water and like during one of the previous streams. Are they falling under? Okay, so I think like, you know, some of the locks must have no clip through the bottom. All this considered, it's not really going to take a, uh, take a, like a huge amount of time. I'm probably like maybe going to like maybe leave it like this high maybe. I can always like improve it later. I, don't know, I might like make it like another level high. Okay, I think I got plenty of food. I should cook some stuff. I mean, I got plenty of meat and everything. Can't hurt to get a little bit more though.
Hold that thought. See, y'all keep, keep busting your asses. Alright. It might be out of the range where I can shoot it. Oh, never mind. It's gone now. Should I make sure I keep an eye out for the villagers? See, that, I think Kelvin's trying to come to me with this or whatever. Just gotta remember how to assign him, like, use a zip line. I'll figure it out, though. Kel what are you pointing at, Calvin? Yeah, that's Clyde. We've established that Clyde and them are hanging around there. Well, it's a little loud, but... Look, we know they're not gonna cause any problems, Calvin. Just... Justin, those aren't the ones I'm uh, like Clyde and them aren't the ones I'm worried about. Kelvin, what are you pointing at? It's just Clyde and them. It's not. Get over here, Kelvin. Follow me. Now, come on, we need to talk. We need to figure out how to get you to use this. That's great, Kelvin. Um, yeah, that's a tree. Come here. Let's see if he actually can figure out. Clyde, you might want to back off. <clears throat> oh, you little. Be so easy, Clyde. So you're going to come. You boys really want to do this? Yeah, um, fire doesn't work in water, dumbass. You guys got a plan, too? I I'll tell you what your plan is. Getting shot. It's a nice t-shirt you're wearing. Like, hey, I'm cool. I'm wearing a t-shirt. And it's about to be a holy one if you don't back off. Climbing on my rocket like you're okay, so get off my rock. So you got some nice armor there, huh? Good for you. You gotta tell your friends I'll whoop their asses too. Not a moment's peace. I'm about to go pay their. I'm about to go pay their village a visit. They don't back off. That guy does not want to come back down here. I'm just trying to just build my base, but oh no, you know, you just can't do it. Just the village called. They want their idiot back. I mean, assuming there's actually any of you left. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. Just go and just cut down a tree. Just trimming one of the Earth's air fo uh, hair follicles. Oh, I've got a few highlights already. I gotta f be quiet, Clyde. <sighs> hey, 
He thinks he's being sneaky. Hold that thought. Uh, Kelvin, you might want to get out of the way. Do you really think you're being stealthy with all that? Go home. Oh my god. Get lost? All right, yeah. You know, you should just... Oh. Uh-uh. So, what's that you were cutting with one arm again? Hey. Back off. Come back again. Next time, I'm not going to be so nice. You can tap me all you want, but you leave Kelvin alone. Matter of fact, um, Kelvin, you stay here. I'm going to save, and I'm going to take me a little trip. <sighs> See? I'm gonna make it personal. You know, you just had to attack Kelvin. You know, that's just... You don't do that. You know, you, you just... You know, I'm just trying to be a good neighbor. I mean, not talking about State Farm, but you know. It's over here, just mind my own business, you know, just doing my own thing. Trying to just, you know, have a good time with me and my buddy right here. But no, they just can't leave well enough alone. I say, I know you better be eating some, like, you know, some fruits or something, Kelvin. You better not be... Kelvin? No, you maintain the base. Take a break. I got work to go do. See, I just want to build my base in peace. That's all I wanted to do. Where'd that one go? He's gonna come back at some point. So you thought you were just gonna like just come back around when you thought I was gone, huh? No, 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 no! You wanted this. Don't run away. So he wants to he wants to attack you like when he thinks uh, you're blindsided, but then when you got uh, come after him, he wants to run away. All oh, that armor and you're scared, still scared of getting hit. It's pathetic. No, let's go. No, you wanted to fight me so bad. You wanted this.
I'm gonna kick this guy's ass, I swear. You're gonna come back one too many times, dude, and it's gonna be the end of the, end of the show for you. Keep that in mind. Come back to my base again. <sighs> okay. And just what the hell do you think you're gonna do? Well, I'm big, I'm tough. <laughs> Come on, try again. Big walking ketchup bottle. Okay, yeah, yeah, you know, just come on, get a little closer. Please. Please get closer. Got a little shrinkage going on there, bitch. Oh, is this your husband? Past tense. All right, we're doing a little ring around the rosy, huh? Yeah, you know, ring around the rosy, pocket full of posies, all. See you, lady. You dumbass. I wasn't anywhere near her. So you got your nice, you know, big, you know, golden mask and everything. You're all important. Hey, you know, I'm like the big head honcho of these guys. You know, that's basically, you know, the vibe you're trying to give off, huh? Well, I'm tough. I'm, I'm a big badass. You know, it's just so adorable that, you know, you think you're... I ain't scared of your ass. And now you see that, well, I'm not. Give me my arrow back, all right? You should be thankful that you were blessed, like, you know, to be penetrated by my arrow. Get your minds out of the gutter. <sighs> God, I got a lot of garbage got to clean up. Son of a bitch. Ain't this about... And I can't even pick his... Well, Clyde will take care of it. Drop it. My log. I spent like most of the day just like trying to like, you know, stave these jackasses off. One day I'll get this thing built, I swear, you know, someday. All right, welcome back. I mean, all I want to do is just build my cabin. Oh no, you know, just natives just gotta be restless. I'm still just trying to process. She tried to jump on me, and I was like 9,000 feet away from her when she did that. So, I mean, just the fact that like, when, I, when I, like, I took down her husband, I'm still saying it just seems like every time you see one of the red guys, you know, one of them's not far behind. She like ran around in like 20 circles and then tried to jump on me and missed. Is that Virginia? Yeah, that's Virginia. It's being random as hell, like always. Virginia, where in the hell are you going? I'll figure it out. Um, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. For I mean, I still hate there's this little thing right here. You know, this little gap right there. It's weird. See, I didn't get around to actually eat my food because, like, I was having to deal with all their shenanigans. All 
All right. At least I can just kind of like just look at it. See what we got going on here. Okay. Um. I still hate that this thing is like is a little bit of a pain to kind of like really understand like in regards to the um. Okay, so at least with the door, you basically build it like normal. So that's pretty cool right there. We just build it all the way around. And then wherever we want the bore, bore the door at, we just, um, okay. We build it up like normal. And then we can like actually cut it like, you know, with the ax. So we basically make the windows. That is pretty neat how they have that set up. It's still a little... So let's kind of like just see if we can test it. I mean, obviously we're not going to like, you know, do it just yet. Okay, yeah, so you basically can just cut away like the log like that. I get it. That's pretty nifty. Oh, it's nighttime now, so. Virginia, if that was you, what is your malfunction? It sound like sound like a wish app, you know, Xena the Warrior Princess. Okay, Kelvin already cut these down. Oh, you bought me breakfast? Appreciate you. All right. Well, I, I love, love how she looks out for me like that, though. Okay, they dropped the skin pouch. Another skin pouch? Or no, it's just a rock. I'll check and see what's in the skin pouch in just a second. At the very least, once I can build like a bridge or whatever, I mean I can bring Virginia over. You know, like her and Kelvin can both come on over, but Shut up! I'm starting to think Clyde's one is. Oh shoot! Here we go. Okay, maybe if they just go on up that way, they'll leave me alone. Come on, just keep going, dorks! Don't come over here. I'm just hoping Kelvin's all right because I ain't seen. Let me check the radar. All right, Kelvin's still around. It's just didn't show him up, uh, showing him up on here. I was just making sure they didn't like do anything to him. I think mostly like Kelvin's mostly in danger if they attack him when you're in close proximity. Just the main issue is I'm still got to like you know put like a roof a roof over all this. Like, so I'm probably going to, like, you know, set the, um, I don't know what side I'm going to set the door at. You weren't thin ice there for a second, Clyde. We know you can't swim. But yeah, this is definitely a slow process. We're going to get there, though. Just got to, like, you know, just...
Because, uh... Like I said, once I do put, like, a bridge up or whatever, at the very least, I'm going to make it a thin one so that way they try to attack us or whatever. They only have, like, one side to come from. Uh, take your time there, tree. Yeah. Like I said, I mainly just want to like have like a means for them both to get over there. Yeah, it's definitely gonna like, you know, um, still gonna, I'm like, listen, the main thing I'm just dreading is having to make the roof. I'm gonna have to like get up there. And I kind of feel like, you know, maybe it might be fine, like, you know, leaving it at this level. Like, not instead of, like, a whole other set of logs. I mean, it seems like this section might be, you know, like, you know, uh, high enough. My character, because it is, like, you know, right above my character's head. Oh, shit. Y'all better keep on running. How the hell they going in such a hurry? Up. Oh. I did not expect this <laughs> random ass Virginia swimming like a frog. At least she's enjoying herself though. I guess he's more on stage like, well, she can swim, we can do it. They keep on, like, you know, jumping in the water, keep on drowning. I swear it kind of just feels like Virginia's just taunting them now because, like, you know, she's over here swimming and they can't, knowing they can't swim. And then I just, I just, like, fall in the water. But yeah, this is like a, I think it's a pretty good spot. There's plenty of wildlife for, you know, food. Plenty of fish, plenty of Clydes, even though we don't eat Clydes. Wait a minute. So that's what you guys are. They're trying to, sorry, it ain't your territory, it's mine. They really gonna come around here like and lay out their little um totems trying to like you know mark it as their territory. I don't think so. Virginia, what are you doing over there? Just the noise that she was making, and then just like the bush was just like, you know, just. I was like, was she changing or something? Or like, what's she doing? Random ghost bird. Hey, come here, pigeon. Yeah. Yeah, Kelvin's just been all... Well, I did tell him to take a break. Yeah, 
It's all the Clydes that keep on like throwing me off. What? What? <laughs> Man, Clyde ain't gonna give us no problems. You just bad as Kelvin about that. Clyde knows better, and yet we're fine. Sorry, Virginia. It's just Clyde. Random. Okay. Random ghost fish. That's not Clyde, though. Um, I thought I said you guys need to back off. The camouflage sucks, dummy. <sighs> Clyde, eat up. You don't sit there and crouch in plain sight. Like, the hell? I keep an eye out for more of them because these guys do not like to roll alone Virginia I know you're not trying to fight Clyde and Clyde you better not be trying to fight Virginia because I mean I whoop that ass It's weird because it's like Kelvin's my brother. Virginia's like my sister or wife or something. I don't know. And, Cl and Clyde's like my kid. Like these are my children. I mean, when you really think about the whole dynamic of how I'm doing this or whatever, you know, it's like I'm basically having to constantly scold them. Kelvin's like my somewhat reliable brother. Like if this was a sitcom, I guess I can see how it would be like, you know, like, I basically, I guess, like, I'm, like, you know, like, basically the lead. Kelvin would be, like, you know, like, the bumbling, but, you know, beloved, you know, support, like, main supporting character. Who are you waving a stick at? I mean, give me ass to kiss, huh? How'd that work out for you? I think you bust. Did she let? I thought she took an arrow to the knee, but it's in her. It's in her hip. I thought that was in her knee. If I would have caught her in the knee with that, that would have been hilarious. The fact that I shot her on the way down though was great though. Are you want me? To... For clarification, Clyde, she started it. Now back off. You want me to get your boo boo out? There you go. Good as new. <laughs> yeah, I did it. What are you going to do about it? You want a boo-boo too? Yeah, first off, don't even think about it. You think I'm, I'm not on, uh, I don't know those tactics. You might want to leave. I warned you. Don't get up. There's a stump there, by the way. I'll get my arrow back. Sure you want to do that? I mean, it's your call if you want to. I mean, I just like kick the crap out of your friends. I mean, but I'll leave it entirely up to you. Sure, 
Shut up. Do not assert yourself as a threat, dude. You missed. Don't throw that. Can I please get back to building my base? Thanks for the, um, spears, though. Dumbass. Oh, for the love of God. Hey. Going somewhere? I saw y'all in Virginia. Leave her alone. Well, at least Clyde and him get to eat good again tonight. <laughs> okay, let's go back here and get another wall built. It's like it was I, like that one was I in Virginia. It turned around and I had like a bow aimed right at its face, and it was like, oh shit. <laughs> like the way it just stopped. Oh my god, we got so much progress left. <laughs> I really should just like maybe some ramen. Virginia's carrying on her little merry way over there. At the very least, I'm going to make sure I stay periodically. That way I don't, like, you know, get set back too far. I mean, right here, it looks like as good as a place as any. Yes, Clyde, it's fire. Please back off. So I can't make a kitchen sink. Shut up. Virginia, you scared the hell out of me right then. I can't even cook in peace because of you guys. Yes, I'm gonna try to just take my, you know, my make a fire over there and hope it don't burn down my building or burn down my partial house. At least that way, at least I can make my my soup and not have to worry about something trying to kick my ass in the middle of just like slurping my ramen. It's the fact that we're really caught off guard because Virginia was originally all the way over there. That, and I'm trying to make my food and suddenly she just pops up. Of it is to cook. About time. All right.
I should have like a full thing of chicken noodle of uh cooked ramen noodles right right there. Now finish it up. Okay, let's get... She has Clyde, Virginia. Every time she points, I get worried that something actually, you know, she just wants to fight us. It's just another Clyde, like all the others. I might want to go and go save real quick, just to be safe. I mean, everything's going good right now. I've been able to handle the cannibals, but... <sighs> You know, last thing I need is, like, get set back. Like, I would like to at the very least, you know, get, like, the uh, walls up. Clive, you would trip me, I swear. Well, that was... Okay. Back off, Clyde. You you saw what just happened to him. Like I said, I don't like doing that or whatever, but I mean, they get too familiar. I mean, I'm going to, like, remind them of, like, you know, the fact that... <sighs> this has all been fun, but y'all... Uh they want to get too familiar. I'm trying to feed them. Trying to, like, you know, just have a nice little balance here, but... Oh, my God. I didn't want to do that. That kind of sucked having to do that, but... Like I said, I wouldn't know like really I was trying to build and they were like attacking me and everything. I'm trying to keep my armor for in the in the event like any more of these other dorks come around. Ow! See, I can't make a I make fun of Clyde for getting like ticked by a tree because it just happened to me that time. Okay. I just don't understand why it seems like, you know, this is, um... So that this game is continuing to slow down the computer. Well, that explains a lot right here. For some reason... Okay. I don't know why I did that. That might be the reason why, you know, it seems like, you know, it's, uh, OBS is not... Now, look at how much clearer the game seems like it's running now. And OBS is no longer lagging and everything. For some reason, it, like, you know, put my resolution up, back up. You know, I had it, like, down. But uh, does the game look, it's like it's, like, running, like, a lot smoother now, guys. So these past streams or whatever. Oh, that was frustrating. That's what I hate when, you know, you go in and, like, you know, a game does an update and then reset your resolution. Because I kept on, like, I, I was looking, I was like, wait, why is it, like, you know, cons it seems like it's lagging OBS and everything. So if there was any lag or whatever going on, guys, I apologize. At least now it's running, like, a lot smoother, too. Because I dang sure didn't set it back to that. But, yeah, the game actually is running smoother now, it looks like. At least we now we ain't got to worry about that moving forward. 
Cause I went, I was, I was really just gonna like lower the settings, like lower like the uh, graphics. But yeah, it was just like a matter of the resolution being too high. So I tried like you know streaming at 1080. That's like the output I put in OBS and everything. But at least now, cause like the streaming software itself, the time was like lagging on it and everything. Um. That was like very frustrating, but at least now it's working like it's supposed to. It was like it was like I noticed that my audio meter thing kept on like you know lagging, but everything's like running smooth as butter like an OBS now. And let's finish this side first. I definitely think it was like slowing a lot of things down. All right. So the way I kind of see this is that we want to like try like to make sure we have like you know some leeway for this for the zip line. Like I said, I'm probably gonna like, you know, uh, play this like, you know, I don't know. I mean, like, I want to at least, you know, get like the, um, get the walls up. I don't think we're gonna get this finished like this. Like I said, I do still want to like play Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, and like I said, it's just, it's really frustrating because it's one that I fixed before. I remember like setting the resolution down prior. But I hate like when sometimes like a dev does an update or whatever it changes things like that, like that you previously fixed, that you previously adjusted. But at least it won't be happening again like moving forward. Like, I don't know if I want to try to arrange for, like, you know, the walls to be a little bit higher or what. Just Clyde. Okay, we have like, you know, a good bit right here to go into the next set of walls. I don't know if this is going to affect, like, you know, the zip line or not. <laughs> Go on, Clyde. Don't start with me.
Go away. There. I don't like doing that, but they keep trying to start with me. Go. First and last warning. Okay, we're gonna build like this last wall right here. At the very least, we'll have that. So this is really not why I wish you could just like switch over your um, thing to a uh, uh, multiplayer by having to like, you know, start a whole new game. And I'm wondering how all that's going to work in regards to like how you would like, you know, when you find like items or whatever, would it be like everyone would have like, you know, have to find it separately or if one person finds it, everyone have access to it? I don't know. Okay, that's basically it for this. Okay, seems like we got just enough room right there to be able to use the zip line. Go back and forth. All right. So total, we're going to need um, five, ten. I was, I'm going to say we're going to need 20 more, uh, 20 more logs total. Like, well, actually, like for what we're doing right here, 15. I'm just curious, like, how, we, how you build a roof. So it's about to be more complex. We basically have to like, you know, get two more logs just to like actually make like a square right there. So. Yeah. We need like, you know, one, we need one log to put up as a support thing. Another one to balance the support thing up and then another one to put lay across it just to be able to like make a roof. I just wonder how that's going to work. That's the issue I have with that. That means it's gonna be a crap load of like, you know, like beams like all over the place if that's the case. Yeah, so deadly like things are gonna be a little bit more difficult in regards to that. I feel like, you know, I put like more progress to this. I kinda like wanna go ahead and go in and try to see about like doing the next bunker. To see what's there now. Because we did like, you know, get all this done. The question is, where's the bunker? Probably got to like definitely travel out a good bit just to get to it. I mean, we got more progress on. I mean, that's all that matters. It's not a whole lot. But I mean, at least we got like somewhat of a basis of a wall. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and rest. Wake up, have some grub. These fuckers, are, these mutants are trying to attack me, aren't they? I think there's mutants out here trying to attack. There's only way. That's the only reason I wake up in the middle of the night. I'm going back to sleep. Screw this. Great. I can't go to sleep. That just sucks. Oh, never mind. It's, okay, never mind. We're waking up at, like, you know, right at, at daytime. 
thought I got I thought I got interrupted. Like my sleep got interrupted. Well, that's what happened, but it's not. It's just it's very early. I thought that was what happened. Cause it happened before, but with me it was like it was a couple of like you know uh, fingers. Okay. So. Yeah, it's getting there. I'm about to, like, you know, go and check out, like, you know, another bunker real quick. Problem is, I can't really, I don't really know which way to go. I mean, I, I know. I mean, I know which one I'm going for. I'm gonna be a bit of a try to get that. Like, definitely gonna take me some time to get there. That's like, you know. Yeah, it's gonna take some time. I'm hoping I'll just go ahead and see it on the map, like, somewhat, you know, shortly. And the problem we got now is it's fall now. So winter's gonna be next. I mean, they're gonna have a means to get over to my base if they want to. Yeah, but check out this bunker is probably maybe the last thing I'm gonna do during the stream. So it might be, you know, cutting like a little bit shorter in that sense, but. Yeah, but the thing about the forest and also Sons of the Forest is, like, with these games, it hasn't really felt like it's really put as much emphasis on, like, building to me, like, you know, games like Grounded have. Uh, Grounded, I mean, it felt very much mandatory for you to have a base and everything, but in this one, it's mostly just... It doesn't really feel like it's really necessary to... What the fuck just hit me? Is that a moose? And see, that was just pure BS. That was my own business. And not to chunk off of my uh, creepy armor. You keep it up now. So this moose has an attitude problem. Okay. Noted. Don't come back now. I got did nothing to that moose, and it just had it had it out for me for some reason. Okay, there's like, all right, I've seen several of the bunkers right here, but I know the one I'm lo looking for is going to be like probably on the other side of the map. God knows this is going to take a while. Probably. We'll get there, though. We just got to like, you know, just... Keep traveling, keep traveling along.
Chash. I don't care if you were vibing, Clyde. Like, you want, you want to lose that arm? I was doing. <sighs> okay. I wish I kind of had a hang glider nearby. Not like I actually have enough height to use one. I'll know what like what bunker we're looking for because I already got it on the radar. So, you know, wait till it pops up. So that's the entertainment bunker. See, like these are like the first ones I found. Everything's gonna suck is like gonna be getting all the way back to my base after this. There's the helicopter trash site. See that on the map now. I don't think I've ever seen this spot before. I mean, it's definitely nice in regards to hugging the walls right here so I don't get attacked by anything. It's a little bit high up off the ground. It's elevated and... Yeah. It's a nice little, you know, kind of like... Hold on a second. This is a hand glider up there, but I don't think it's gonna be high enough for really us to use it, but I'm damn sure about to try. Might be one I've already used. Unless it's higher up. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, is this thing like high above, on, uh, high up enough for me to use it? Well, I'm gonna find out. Well, here we go. Oh shit, this is a terrible idea. Well, for some reason, all right, it feels like my controls got inverted too, because I remember, like, you know, when I used it before, like, that's what I was doing, like, I was pushing initially to go higher. Darn it. Okay, might as well go and put that down. It's useless now. Could have went, went back up and tried again, but yeah, I was like using like the same direction I normally have used like to try to go higher and I don't know if that got switched out with a recent update or something or what. That was just really strange. Nonetheless, we're just going to keep going. I don't think it's going to be too, too much further if I remember like, you know, where it is. Oh shit, hold on. Never mind, we gotta go all the way around just to get back over there. I see, like, the residential bunker, and I know the VIP bunker's over there near that. So, yeah, we gotta go all the way around this mountain. Which really, you know, won't take too, too long. But still, 
It's really not like I hate, like, you know, the drive mechanics in this game is so tricky because there's so many trees all over the place. They put golf carts here for you to drive, but it's like, okay, yeah, golf carts in a forest. That's a really good idea. Get my uh, stamina up just a little bit more. I mean, if nothing else, you know, at the very least, you know, this is a bit of a slog right here. At least we got like some really good moments here in the stream in regards to, like all the cannibals showing up trying to attack. And like in quite a few funny little, you know, well, not really headshots, but. You know, moments, you know, where I blast their asses off. I mean, I think, like, one of the best ones, well, two of the best ones, one that jumped out of the tree, and I caught, and I caught her in the uh, leg with the uh, arrow before she landed. The next thing I was going to hit her, and, of course, like, the one that, like, popped out of the tree, turned around, was like, are you impressed? Blam, gets shot in the face with a, with a rifle. So there is like another like you know. See, I think we already we explored that cave right there, but there's another cave all the way over there, too. Actually, yeah, that's right. I wanted to explore the one near like uh, I was gonna. I wanted to explore that cave near the uh, residential bunker too. So that's another thing we can do. There's a little cave over there near the residential. We're going to get there, though. It's just taking a little bit of a time to trek around, but we're getting there. Getting to it. When we get around over to this little um, trail over here, we can, like, use that to get over there. If I went for a fed, I could end up like you know getting some having some problems. If I did, I would totally sled down this mountain. You know what? Hold up, we're doing this. You know what? I we ha we have to. Please tell me I got a stick. I got one stick. We are totally about to do this. Don't know what side we're about to sled down, but I'm totally sledding down this mountain. I've had worse ideas. No, I mean I'm not taking. I'm not missing this opportunity. I'm doing this. I don't know what we're get what's gonna happen, but that's what I'm saving. Oh come on now! No, no, that's so anticlimactic. We gotta do this properly. Oh, yeah. Wait, that didn't kill me? Dude, that was so cool. My problem is it definitely, like, put us back a little bit. All right, now we're actually gonna do this the other way. We're gonna go and like you know, just let uh, go around the other side, see if we can get like a little bit of a uh, fast track down. Cause that put us back in the opposite direction. Let's see if we actually can go down the other way now. I've been able to do that and like not even actually get killed by it. 
the same time we also like did like you know kind of like just stick you know we were sticking mostly to the uh, platform though it did feel like we had like a pretty nice little spot there where we got some air So that was, I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all probably saw like, you know, that, that little look I probably had in my eye or whatever. When I saw it, I was like, no, we're totally sliding down this. Gene's visibility sucks up here. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be getting over this. So I'll go around it. We can. What? How in the hell did he pull that off? This guy's a fucking wizard. Oh my god. The fact I'm all the way up here, I'm about to sled down this damn thing. Oh my god. Just trying to find like a spot where might be cold, but I'm also about to be bold. Damn, like all the sound just cut off for a second there. Don't worry, as soon as I find like a good spot to do this, I'm I'm going off. I'm just hoping this works okay because I mean I totally want to do. Oh yeah, we gotta go now. And get around here so we can kind of like get a good good drop off. This will be fine. Here we go. Really? But I thought I clipped in the map. That didn't work out as well as I wanted to. Though. I want to like find another spot. This right here now. That shows promise. It's where I think I glitched the sound. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. So worth it. Then we got to put about like where we were before, but hey, you know. Oh, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. All right, so I just... All right, well, there's the VIP bunker right there, so we're not far from it, at least. But I do want to check out that cave. Well, there, there's a couple caves here we got to check out. I can't tell this. I, got, I don't think I got an X marker. Yeah, there's two caves here to check out. I still say it would be funny if, like, you know, if we had, if we made multiple, sh uh, if we, like, did multiplayer. And you just had me and Mac and you and uh, Deceptus like all just like you know racing down the mountain on those things, or down the river.
All right, so there are like definitely Then again, this might be okay. Hold up a second. I Wonder if those actually are the um, yeah, I thought I could swear I put a marker down there to signify that I finished it Okay, yes, yeah, so we got what like one down there at the shore one on the shore is yes, yeah, so we've been to these two caves we just haven't been to the one near the VIP bunker. I mean, uh, near the residential bunker, which is the main one I want to check out. Really? It's been a while since I've seen, like, any candies. And their stick. I just had to jinx it, didn't I? Oh, listen here, butt ugly. You ain't tough. You damn sure ain't tough. Yeah, run away, you fucking sour patch kid. I said back off. Okay, that was a warning shot. This one wasn't. Blue jeans uncle faster. All right, back to business. So yeah, it's, t it's still taking, it's going to take a little more time to get over, wait, hold on a second, there's a point of interest down here. I may not have actually seen this one yet. Went, gone to this one, I don't know. I'll know it when I see it. That might be the airplane. See, the problem with this is it's going to take me further away from where I'm wanting to go. But it could be worth it. Oh shit. Yeah, we definitely wanna fall down there. Oh boy, I'm in a bad spot here. Oh no. Actually, no, hold on a sec, I got an idea. Crap. All right, we'll get down there, though. Just got to be very careful. Please don't kill me. I think, oh boy. Oh, that could have been a bad hole to hit that tree. Well, not getting that back, I don't think. Whatever, I don't need it. I cut that one pretty close. Really, that's... Huh? Well, if I can drive the damn thing properly or whatever, I mean, this will help me get to where I need to go. I'm just really not a fan of these golf carts because they are such a pain. See, I can't drive these for crap. They suck. Um...
I'm not even at like a celery. I'm just like. At the very least, I can kind of check and see if there's any more supplies in here. So I do like to um, refill stuff. So we have been here before, but... Got yeah, non-believe in our mists. Most of what I'm seeing right here is just stuff we already have. Okay, I'm just going to go and just carry on. We need to go and just get on over here. Take uh, probably just you know walk the shore right here. I think there was a path like somewhere along here we can go up. Matter if I'm looking right at one right there. Yeah, I mean us trying to race those on the multiple and like none of us are gonna actually get to the finish line. Those things, again, like just the control armor is absolutely terrible. That's the thing about like getting the night V or whatever. I mean, I don't know where they are on the map. All right, I'm just gonna grapple up. Or night five, whatever it's called. And now we're back. All right, at least we're back up here again. I continue to show all these points of interest. Well, I swear I thought I found them already. Let's see what this one is. So I'll make sure it's like not one we've already looked at. I guess like golf carts or whatever for some reason because I, just, I get because the handlebar. I swear like I found these things before or whatever. It was just like a, it was usually a dead person. I wish I like one of these. Don't make me. Don't mind me, Clyde. I'm driving. Oops. Shut up, Clyde. Don't let my drive in the state. And then, see, look at you. Look at you. What you do, uh, Clyde? That's on you. Go away. Yeah. Just seeing someone driving in general. They probably think it's like some kind of like you know, demonic, you know, some kind of demonic creature.
I'm not gonna bother getting that thing this time. I'm just gonna walk my ass on over. An incline, see if I can kind of step up this. He can, you know, he can climb a mountain, no problem. He can just, like, you know, step on up it or whatever. Literally, you know, been song, he'd be coming around the mountain, or she'll be coming around the mountain or wherever. Because he goes over it, but he can't drive a freaking golf cart. Okay, I, I think they're trying to tell me something now. It's like, you better drive this damn golf cart. I don't want to, okay? I suck at driving these. You know, whatever. It seems like it's a straight way. Now watch me somehow screw this up. So this is nice for the most part. Oh shit. And this is probably like the longest I've stayed in one of these things without crashing it. Watch out, Bambi. Move, De deer. This made me feel bad about like, well, look, okay, look, you got in my way, all right? I'm still alive. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh god, oh god. <sighs> oh my god, <laughs> I feel... I don't know what y'all circle for, y'all better go on, alright? I'm kind of right here, like, having a bit of a crisis. Equip it. Put that down. Oh, that's just great. I knew it. I knew something was going to happen when I was in this thing. So then, like, he just runs over the poor thing again. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh. Uh, well. Well, it was like what it was intended for, but then again. Uh, what? Hey, hold on a second. <laughs> it fun it's a boat, too? It's a boat. It functions as a boat as well. You can ride it down river like a friggin' boat. I mean... It's fun while it lasted. That, if that rock wouldn't have been in the way, it would have been like a longer, longer voyage. Okay, so we got two options here. Um... I still want to check out that cave over near the residential. We've already explored residential bunker, but I do need to check out this cave first, and then we'll come back to this one. Well, I don't know. I mean, I think I just want to like kind of like go and check out this cave first near the residential bunker, and then we'll do the VIP um, bunker afterwards. Soon the cave ain't too big. At least the natives ain't home. Try to chase me around.
Also gives me a chance to go and mark this uh, area off as done. I think I've exp Hold up a second. Have I explored this cave? I don't think I've explored this cave, actually. I don't think I have. I remember, like, the other ones. Yeah, the other... Yeah, I don't think... Or have I? I don't know. If I haven't, I'll go ahead and put, like, a thing down. I'll know it if I know it when I see it. But I don't... I think I may have actually explored this one. Remember, I think I just had to climb up all these rocks to get to it before. Or at least I can mark it off this time properly. So I don't have to worry about, like, getting confused again. All right. Okay, it's down here. I do not like definitely want to try to give me a, like a little, at least a little bit of a nap in before I do the dr next Dragon's Dogma stream. Because the reason I want to jump back on that is because you know we are getting to, like to the chapter where we're starting like or to the part where we're like starting to get to the, the main area in that game. So I definitely want to play some more of it tonight. I just need to kind of like just give me a little bit of a nap in first. Yeah, definitely have been to this one before. Yeah, I mean, I know, like, Dragon's Dogma has definitely got, had, like, all this controversy and everything. It's understandable. But I also feel like a lot of people are, like, being, like, very unfair, and they're just, like, jumping on the bandwagon just because everyone else and some of the others are hating it. I mean, it's not a perfect game by any means. It definitely, you know, definitely has, like, some flaws to it. But, um... And I've been, like, you know, having to get, like, the hang of some of it, of course. Considering, like, all the de deaths and everything. Namely, you know, getting killed by goblins constantly. I'm going to finish this up. Watch out for homeboy over here. There's two of them. So I ain't gonna fight if I ain't got to. So we'll check this and then we'll come back over. See what's in the VIP bunker. I need some sticks. And this is just she has some sticks if I'm right. Hold up. I also wanna make a whole lot of noise is the thing. Yeah, with Dragon's Dogma 2, once I kind of, like, really, like I said before, once I kind of, like, hit my stride in and kind of, like, you know, really get more understanding on, like, some of the mechanics. And plus, I got kind of have an idea on, like, some things, stuff, some stuff I can do to probably, like, you know, basically, you know, um, get past, like, some of, like, you know, the problems I was having. Once I kind of, like, you know, get that stuff out of the way, you know, it'll be even more fun. I kind of already, like, did some of the things I needed, like, some things off stream. Like, not in regards, like, story stuff, of course, but... I thought.
I know I just saw a cannibal over here, I thought. Uh huh. Made you look. Hop around now. Nice knee you got there. Used to be an adventurer like me, huh? <laughs> I mean, at least it didn't like hinder your mobility. Like he had like one but one one knee armored and the other one wasn't. Of course he like shouldn't know which one I was gonna go for. I'm relatively sure I haven't been in this cave, because I said I wanted to explore this one later. I was saying before, like, okay, it's like it's outside, like the res like the residential bunker, but I don't think I ever actually checked it out. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I don't think I checked it out. How come I can normally climb like other cliffs just fine, but I can't climb this? I can't climb this little hill. Oh, but now you can climb it, no problem. You hear they're starting to get night. Turn that out until I absolutely need it, though. Now that's that I absolutely need it. Let's just confirm this. All right, straight over this way. I was need to just continue going straight ahead. Once I pass on the radar down there, I'll be a little bit happier because then I'll be able to. I don't know exactly where it is. I can see a little bit better over here. I mean, it's good that they aren't aquatic mutants or whatever, at least as far as I know they ain't. There it is. I feel like I definitely would remember this cave I've been here I've been here before.
I don't know if I explored this one before or not. I can't remember. I want to save when I get in here just to be safe. Depending on how big it is, if it looks like it's going to be a big one. I don't know. It feels like I've been here before, but I can't remember. I just want to make sure if, it, if I see anything in here that looks familiar, I'll just, I'll just leave back out. But I don't know if I've been in here before or not. eat first. Sizzling familiar. Yeah, I've been here before. Okay. Duly noted. See, so yeah, that was kind of a bit of a bust. We've been there before. I thought it looked somewhat familiar. So yeah, we kind of waste a little bit of time, like, you know, going back, you know, going over here just to explore a cave we've already explored. It's all good, though. This, however, is just trash. Or at least we can see a little bit better now. Here, we're going to swim over this way. Good thing as far as now they don't have a system in place where if you're in like a, in a lake where if you get struck by lightning, that would suck. Another freaking Clyde. Don't start with me, Clyde. Ain't too dark for me to, you know, to see like is that where I aim to put my foot up your ass. You know what? I might actually be able to look out and get over there a little bit quicker this time. You can't carry any more. 
How's he carry one in the first place? You actually can carry it around? Wait, I didn't know you could do that. Okay. Okay, this is gonna make things a lot easier. We're like, yeah. To make sure we don't come in too hot on it. All right, so we just basically gotta like, you know, just go over to the beach and we're good. This is like working a whole lot better than the alternative. Oh, they got us this little base over there. I might have to go pay him a little visit. Possibly. They don't want to come in too hot on this. I'm coming in way too hot. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Oh! Oh. Start the landing. Okay. I'm not using that stupid golf car. Y'all are, like, determined to, like, put a golf car everywhere I go lately. Okay, so how far away from me are we from the bunker? All right, we're coming up on it. Something's telling me I'm going to want to say when I get over here. I'll take that as a definite yes. Okay. I like how it's just like it's perfectly aligned right there. Just about... I learned my lesson from last time, whatever, before when I went to a bunker and got my ass kicked. Huh? Well, I mean, that works, I suppose? See, I'm gonna wait and see what happens here, because I know, like, I that they tend to, like, you know, to jump me in my sleep. All right, that, that worked. I do want to kind of, I would like to go over there and pay them a visit on their little beach party they're having just to see what happens. Before we go in, I just want to go see if that actually was a little cannibal village over there having a beach party. I don't necessarily have to do this. I mean, it's not that far away. Realist realistically, this wouldn't really be like a bad spot to make a make a base too. Only thing is, obviously, like you know, land. I want to see what these pillars are right here, because I mean, we're about to go into the bunker in just a bit, but. It's kind of funny. I think I'm seeing the trash can over there. So apparently, this was actually was a picnic spot, or like a spot for people to eat lunch or whatever. Damn cultists. I guess it's kind of a good thing I came over this way and get a few supplies. I 
Because there wasn't like a whole lot over here, but still it's worth investigating. Hold up. All right. I just want to go see if this is, I mean, I could all obviously just like, if I want to, I could obviously just reload the save and get right back to the bunker. I just want to see what this is. What the hell's your problem? Oh, you better be screaming when I come over there. Cause now we're about to like, you see that, what, answer that question. What the Campbell's gonna see when they see, uh, imagine the, the Campbell's seeing someone riding a golf cart. How's it going? Where are you going? Oh, hold on a second. Oh, oh. Y'all having a, a beach party? You didn't invite me? Are oh, you making dinner too, huh? <laughs> All right, let's go, Tubby. Try to chase it. <laughs> now I actually got to use for this damn golf cart. What the hell? Oh, they got sharks over on the beach, too. Oh, let's go, Tubby. I've had just about enough of you chasing after me. They'll crack your neck for you. <laughs> Y'all should not have gave me this golf cart. <laughs> oh my God. Like... It's funny, I told like I can't drive this thing's worth a crap and like I, I learned how to drive when it comes to vehicular manslaughter. Oh, oh, there's another camp over there. I forgot all about the bunker. Oh, oh, oh. Coming through, boys. <laughs> nice mask. <laughs> what the? Oh, damn. Okay, well, I guess my fun's over. Back in that hey I'm getting back in that golf cart I was gonna stare down huh yeah, it's called a bow you've not been acquainted with it oh you're still alive huh I 
I bet y'all wish I stayed in the golf cart now because I'm a little bit more deadly out here. You're missing something. Hey, don't, don't mess up my joke. Come here. Well, aim a little low. Now you're with him. Damn. It, it makes me feel a little sad when they beg for their lives. Hey, you're not exempt. That's for all the times you boys have jumped me and my me and Kelvin. Party's over. Nope. You done? I say you're done. All right, GG guys. Let's see what all kind of loot you got over here. I mean, y'all got a beach party. You gotta have some, you know, some kind of grub. I mean, that's what gets me. He was standing on this on this thing over here with the head on. It was a head over heels. Anyways, um, or head under heels. I'm pretty sure I ain't gonna want what they've been eating, but I mean, the drinks, however. Yeah, it was totally worth it letting the little scenic drive over here. Party kind of sucked though, but you know, hey. At least I got drinks. A few refreshments, ones I'll eat actually. Just see if I actually cut his head off or if I could take the mask, but I don't think I can. I am the storm that is approaching or something. I mean. I mean, I guess in this throne could be like a butt of a lot of jokes, but kind of beat me to it. This has some rifle ammo over here. Okay, great. Now I got a seagull head in my inventory I can't get rid of now. Okay, let's go ahead and um head on back. I mean, it's the fact that one big one's gonna knock me the full hell out of the whole freaking cart. All right, look, look here, little cuz. I'm tired of your shenanigans. Yeah, well, I'm tired of you. I want to look at these sharks. Those aren't sharks, those are orcas. I guess it's kind of like it's a bit of homage to the first game. In the first game, you can find sharks like washed up on shore. I can't resist. Uh, well. Wait, hold on. You tell me I can't... Well, that's no fun. Okay, let's see if they had anything over here to, to nom on that's actually edible. And to me, let me guess what they eat is edible, but not by, by my standards. Sorry, we're not going to be doing it. I ain't got... You know, I don't take apart the whole soil and green thing.
So let's see. I think like my most dangerous like you know weapons in this game like you know at this point or whatever have been like the has been the rifle, the shotgun, and the golf cart. Of course, I think I've been like a pretty uh, pretty you know decent shot with my bow at times. It's funny, all the time I've been talking about, like, you know, how, like, you know, I suck with the golf cart, and then I just come in, like, you know, with it and just, like, make their lives hell. Hey, you boys are in the wrong territory. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Contingency plans. Why don't you come on over here and say that? Because what the hell are they doing up here? Oh shit. Okay, uh, hold up. We're not playing this game now. You boys might think we are, but we damn sure ain't. I get lost. Oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! That's not that's not happening. That's a blue. Crap. Okay, they would send a blue up here to try to stop me. Great. It's gonna be problematic. Damn. <sighs> this sucks. I hate blues. I could just get in the, try to just get in the, um, get in the golf cart and try to gun it. Okay, at the very least, as long as that one stays over there, I can take out the other ones real quick. Out of my grill. No. I said no. Uh oh. Oh shit. Where'd it go? Uh oh. The blue went missing. I need to try, like, you know, uh, gun it for the, uh, bunker. Yeah, honestly, I would take, like, a shark over the blue. At least, like, the blue does, like, the sharks, like, you know, I can swim away from them. But blues are freaking, you know, just, I hate dealing with blues. Because they're so broken. Those in the spotteds. But at least we should be in the clear now. Let's get back to the bunker, get inside, and... I might go and actually just see what's going on with it. I don't know if I'm going to explore the entirety yet, depending on how big it is. I think, like, something got made, I messed up with the time on my stream. Like, back when what was going on before. But it feels like I've definitely been longer, I've like been live longer than, um... Two hours. Yeah, thankfully that blue didn't manage to kill me. It almost did, but thankfully I got away from it. At the very least, I would have got, like, you know, hung up somewhere because I think I would have still been on my um, respawn. But I didn't want to deal with that because ain't no tons of what's going on in here.
All right. Whew. Cut it really close, but. Oh, wrong thing. All right, we're gonna get this. <laughs> then all times of a cutscene might trigger what might happen when we go in, so I wanna like to at least do this right here. So they did it again, that's hilarious. Let's at least see what's going on in here. At least we know we're gonna lose like two hours of progress if I die this time. I just stayed right up there, so. Okay, looks like we definitely have been some action down here. Of course, we already knew that. It's eerily quiet in here. Okay, that's not creepy at all. Random bunny stuff rabbit. Let's see. So I'm gonna kinda make some Molotovs right there, but can't be so lucky. We have to go this way. Blow yourself up in the daughter's room. Blow yourself up right, right there. Okay, you guys are just fanatics in the worst of ways. You already knew that. Dress. I, it must be for Victoria, because I know... Just curious. Yeah, it ain't showing it over here in his inventory. I was, I was like, if he could put it on... All right, last one testament, Edward Puffton. Reginald Puff, Puffet, declared, I, Reginald Poof, or <laughs> his name, declared, this uh, This is my last will and testament. Preliminary declarations, prior wills and uh, codicilla, or codicils, however the hell you say it. Yeah, there we go. And codicils. I revoke all prior wills and codicils. Meryl Stas, I am married to Barbara Puffton, my spouse. Current children, I have the fallen living child, Virginia Puffton. The term child or children uh, is as used in this will only uh, includes the above list children, does not include any other children of mine. They're singly born or legally adopted. The, ch the term child or children, or hang on, ex executor, divinities. The term ex executor in this will is anonymous with and includes the terms personal representative and executrix. I appoint the sole executor of this will. No bond. So he, he's crossed out whoever was he, uh, Appointed the executor. No bond or security of any kind will be acquired, required of any executor appointed in this will. Disposition of estate. To receive a specific uh, re bequest under this will, a benef beneficiary must survive me for 30 days. He fails to pass or to a beneficiary or, or return to my estate to be included in the uh, resident. Staying like the fingers in the way. Return to my estate to be included in the res uh, 
residue of my estate. All property uh, given under this will or whatever. Encumbrance encumbrances or lands attached to the property must still request as follows. I have a leader of Virginia Puffton that they shall survive me for their own absolutely for their own absolutely in my entire state of whoa. Damn. That is a lot of numbers. Woof. So Virginia would have been making quite a bit of bank. In witness for of I have signed my name on this second day of July 2025, words are hard, declaring and publishing the, this instrument as in the presence of the undersigned witnesses who witnessed and subsided this last will of my request in my presence. So yeah. Say to say, Virginia has got a better house than I've got. I don't even know if she knows. I know we're missing something here. Hold up. Okay, we went we went that way. We didn't go this way, I don't think. All right, through here to the gold city. The gold will heal us all. Vague ass maps. I can't really use a map down here, can I? Yeah, you're very helpful. Heisenberg. Walter White. Walter White looking ass. Anyways. What's really eerie about this? There's been not. There's it's been too quiet. Chairs are comfy as hell, though. Really nice digs, but of course it did. It did say VIP district. As soon as where the Puftons, like you know, live, lived uh, past tense, you know. Now we're talking. One percent, collect a hundred, a thousand dollars. All right. I'm just trying to figure out, did the cultists invade this place, or what is that at least going on here? Hi, Barbara. It was great to see you last night. It's so bizarre that Ed built this place based on some crazy vision he had. I'm so sorry you had to deal with this. Let's meet again soon, Doris. I don't think it's going to happen, Doris. Rescued, Eric LeBlanc. These are like, you know, really nice digs. But Barbara, well, I appreciate you confiding in me. I don't know what you were talking about. This is not what we thought we were getting into. We don't know anything about your pattern, star patterns. This is not a luxury retreat. It's a three-hour walk to the golf course. Let me see if I can save it this bed now, too.
well. And I'm so jealous of the tub because with me being like, you know, kind of tall, it sucks like having a tub where I can't really like, you know, just kind of like just lounge back and relax. Like after a day at the gym, like with some Epsom salts and everything. And this one, yeah, I would totally just be able to submerge myself in that and just be lost in it. I've always wanted like, you know, like, you know, foot like a, you know, like a big tub, like a big bathtub. Timmy. There's got to be a way to open this. A key. Something. I don't know what the hell that thing is. I don't even think I want to know. I'm just curious. Let me actually see if I can look at the recipe here. Figure out exactly what these things, some of these things are I've got. I'm just curious, like... There'd really be a way to kind of like, you know, tell with some of these things. But I don't even know, like, you know where they are. Whatever it is. Guess that works? No. No, we're we're missing something. So my guess is there's something else we need that I've yet to find yet. Alright guys, so as it stands, it seems like I might actually be the second point where I gotta figure out what we gotta do next or whatever, so I might have came in here too early. I don't know. I mean, it could be that what we need is like somewhere around here, because usually like, you know, with each of the bunkers, they do have an item somewhere. Hope that's the case, that it's just like, you know, I've been like run through so quickly, I didn't actually really like pick it up. Was it MTV Cribs? Well, at least now we know what happened to the bathroom. Oof. I'm just trying to like, you know, just look around and see if maybe there's something I missed in here. I mean, plus, dude, there's no enemies. That's a good thing. At least not that I've seen. But I think what uh, maybe, for all we know, like, Timmy might have wiped them out.
We keep seeing this cube everywhere. Let me check Pupton's room again. Or that was Pupton's room. No, this is a little girl's room. So I'm thinking, I wonder if they might actually have been trying to say this was Virginia. It kind of would make sense because... Or the daughter's room or whatever. Because, you know, Virginia does like to dance. And there's like a lot of ballerina stuff here. I guess that's Virginia's room. I feel like if we find like the room that the Puptons were in or whatever, we might there might be a clue to something in there. It's the exits, that's not really gonna service anything. Honestly, it feels like this could be the, the Puffton's, you know, digs right here. Yeah, okay, so I'm, it looks like there's some emphasis on us trying to find this cube. I'm not seeing it anywhere. I feel like, you know, if we were like closer, we'd, we'd know. Like if it is the cube. Like I said, it was that one, like, you know, area where it was like showing all those pictures of it. So I'm wondering if it actually might be in here somewhere. I mean, it may not even be the cube, but... Alright. So, as the stands, guys, um... I don't know what was that, like, you know, where this thing is. I mean, that's the thing, this... Blood right here. This is a really weird-looking blood smear. Like, he's trying to tell me something. But I ain't seeing anything. So it looks like this actually might be a, you know, a place where I'm going to be stopping for now. I'm going to go back in here and save. Um, so, I mean, I, cause I think it feels like there might be, you know, might be something in here or whatever. But maybe I have to go back out and, explore, and like, explore another cave or something. Because it definitely feels like this might be something in-game-ish or whatever. I don't know. I'm definitely not seeing the cube anywhere in here, but I feel like, you know, obviously, you know, usually how they've done the bunkers, there's, like, an item in each one of some kind. You know, I really found, like, any kind of, like, new items in here, so I feel like, you know, the cube may be here. I just, you know, ain't seen it yet. I'm just gonna put this down, save my batteries. Got... Alright. So, yeah, um, I feel like I'm guessing I'm gonna go ahead and stop it right here, guys. Um, and hopefully I can kind of like, you know, have like maybe some kind of idea <laughs> on what to do, like, next stream. Because it definitely feels like we might be in some kind of end game here, um, but we'll definitely figure it out, like, you know, hopefully in the next stream. But with that being said, guys, I'm still going to definitely try to be live with Dragon's Dogma sometime tonight. Um, but for now I'm going to go and call it here. At least we got, like, some stuff done in regards to, like, me getting more stuff done with the base and, uh, me finding at least, like, you know, the six out of the seven artifacts. 
I mean, it could be something to do with that. I don't know. I mean, we've got like, you know, six out of seven of these pieces, but I don't know. We'll, um, we'll figure it out, hopefully. Like, I've, you know, still, like, had a good time with this today outside of, like, you know, that one issue with, like, realizing that we need, I need to change the resolution, like, to get things fixed, you know, basically for it to run better. But at least that's not going to be an issue moving forward. But, like I said, uh, sometime tonight, I'll be jumping on, like, you know, Dragon's Dogma 2. I may, I may try to, like, you know, get, like, a little nap for an hour or two. Um, but either way, still was a fun stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, outside of, like, this little, like, thing right here. I'm just hoping it's not going to be one of those cases where, like, we find out that we're really close to the end game. The next stream is going to be us possibly finishing the game up. But if it's anything like what I heard about the first forest, then maybe I should actually continue playing afterwards. But anyways, until next one, Rogues, which should be sometime tonight for Dragon's Dogma 2. Much love. Thank you guys for coming out and hanging out with me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Thanks so much for watching my stream. If you like my content and want to see more, be sure to follow me and hit that notification bell. You can also find me on Instagram and join my Gilded server to hang out and join in on occasional movie nights. If you're an aspiring streamer, the website contains a collection of over a dozen completely free text guides with advice to help you get started. The section is dedicated to proper networking, the importance of channel panels, handling dead air, and many other topics. You can find a link to my website on my channel. See you guys next time.